Seven was the start of all the problems. No, I'm just kidding. Episode seven was one where I knew it was going to start getting special effects heavy because we're going through a training montage, you know, the characters learning how to use their powers. And I'm like, this is where it's going to start getting a lot of fun for me in post. There is no editing team. I am the editing team of this series. So, you know, green screen and blue screen and visual effects and people flying and floating and lasers and everything. That's all me. But we have some new intel. Last night, Bella hacked into LexCorp servers. And I really like this because it introduced those black shirts and I really like those costumes. Those were my favorite with the patches. I think that's symbolic of like, we're not heroes yet, but we're becoming heroes. I wore those like out in public. They were so comfy and stuff. Um, that was a great scene. Um, it was, once again, at Lake Forest, very hot day. And it was tense, I remember filming that, because um, we were just all grumpy and sweaty and tired because we'd filmed a lot before that. So that was one of the times we were just like, let's get this done, and we were all focusing. That being said, I still got to goof off and say my lines like, boom, Russian, babushka. It's just, this project is so much because it's an outlet to just, you know, goof off and have fun and be with my friends, so. I've created a net over the surrounding area that'll bypass LexCorp's metahuman tracers. We had a bigger space and I would say more to work with um, than the diner. Like the diner, it was pretty set, this is the diner, but we had um, pretty much blank walls and, uh, and a booth, but what you don't see on camera is the stage full of instruments. Even though it's a big blank empty room in the in the show, we're still having to navigate our space and we're still having to figure out how to make this look like what we're saying that it is. Training montages, which are always fun. You get to have the characters learn uh, their stuff, but she's the teacher this time. She's not the trainee. She's had experience. She's uh, she's also like a fashion designer, which is awesome. And she, sh you know, shoots the cape, which was fun. Wasn't a real gun though, so that sucks. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think my favorite was actually doing the stick fighting. I couldn't actually be there for filming on that one. Uh, so I had given them some like kind of here's your choreography we, we'd get done it beforehand and gone over it and then i think when they got to the actual location they ended up tweaking it a little bit to fit, fit what they needed so yes i gave them pointers but at the at the end of the day some of that is mine and some of that is theirs which is uh, perfectly fine uh and i think it comes across seeing what works what looks good what doesn't look good and um getting the right motions in there originally i believe supposed to be like just one quick little thing and then me, Jeffrey, and Megan thought of a great idea to have like a couple different levels. Definitely one of the fun times. It was a little bit stressful actually filming it since we had learned like 20 minutes before what I was doing and I'm not great under pressure. So it was definitely a little bit stressful, but you know, I mean, it worked out. I like fight choreography. It's, it's fun. <laughs> uh, the training montage was one of the first things that we had like really set in stone. So we've had that in development almost as long as airs, I think. That was one of the first things we decided. I think it ended up looking pretty good. It was fun uh, running around as I do. There's this montage of Bart and Rachel and they are sparring together. And so what you're gonna be seeing is some really cool green lantern boxing gloves. But what I saw was some latex green gloves that clung to my sweaty hands as I pounded away at Bart's face. So yeah, that was um, fun. But uh, I think the best part about that was that I actually got punched in the nose. Wow, thank you, Michael. <laughs> it was very cool um, filming the water thing with Michael because um, I really got to see him stretch his talent and really got to see him um, become a better performer in that he was trying to make something comedic but still frustrating and he was able to actually catch the water as it fell. Uh, we had like a, a mop bucket underneath 
uh, where you couldn't see it on the camera, but every time he would drop it, the water would splash into there. We shot three different things of the cup. The first one, I just completely crushed the cup and water goes everywhere. Um, and in between every take, we had to mop it up and stuff. The second one, I'm getting the cup, but it's still flailing around. And the third one, I catch it perfectly, right? But then as I'm walking away, I do this obnoxious slurp and it just breaks everyone on set. A, a lot of the things happening in that episode that Michael does are pretty much improvised. Like when he takes a drink of the water as he's walking by, he just did that like off the top of his head. That's where, because I really wanted this, that's where we establish why I wear goggles and stuff so stuff doesn't get in my eyes, which I think is a very practical part of my costume. The whole scene between Jordan and I was pretty much completely improv. We knew what was happening in the scene. We knew what we wanted to come out of the scene. Um, but finding the right words, I think, was a difficulty for this whole, this whole process. Um, in writing the script and in performing the script, we're, we were realizing what sounds natural and what didn't. And we were trying to navigate our way to make it sound real, like what real people would be saying. That also was just like probably the angry, some of the angriest acting I've ever had to do. And I don't like to consider myself a very angry person, but acting is acting. So I was really having to draw on, you know, a lot of things that, you know, really get to me to just really show this rage and just this pressure that Clark feels. What I ended up coming up with, like we had three or four different shots, I think. And um, we had the general idea of where this conversation had to go and what had to come out of both Clark as a character and Terry as a mentor. Finding the right words, what came from just discussing between Andrew, Kristen, and Jordan um, about what Terry had gone through and how it applied to what Clark is going through. They're, very, they're two very different characters but they still have a similarity and finding that similarity and finding that common goal and that common ground um, was a challenge. And so improvising that dialogue is uh, probably some of my favorite acting that I've done, period, um, because I was trying so hard to be uh, like my nerdy self and applying it to all these superhero things, but still bring emotion and levity to it. Right, you've all done well training individually, but now it's time to test your skills working as a team in this computer simulator. And begin. The first day we got up there, I was worried because Palomar Mountain's at about 5,300 feet above sea level. And I was really worried about how it would impact everyone who, you know, they live a lot closer to sea level, you know, impacting, you know, breathing and, you know, cause you're gonna be working and, you know, punching and, you know, exerting a lot of energy. And I was hoping that that didn't affect our actors work, working at elevation, but it ended up working really well. There were bugs everywhere. I think there was like, there was a patch right near where we were filming that was just of like these flies that were just like circling around. So me and Nicole were like, okay, well we don't want to be over there because that's where the filming is happening. But if we're over here, we're A in the sun and B um, where all the bugs are. So we like walked all the way down the road to get to where there was shade and no bugs. There was so many bugs and it was so hot. That whole first day, a lot of it was kind of just like throwing it together as we go because as it's written in the script, we're supposed to be laying on like massage tables and like get, and Mercy is also supposed to be getting a massage. And um, obviously that's not how it is in the show because when we got there, we were like, what should we actually do for the massage? Because we don't have massage tables. That's not a regular thing that <laughs> one just like has. Uh, so we ended up doing what we did in the show and Shout out to Maya Berg for whipping together a real quick <laughs> masseuse outfit. 